what's up what's up it's your girl neek and you're tuned in to neek at night and tonight we're going to be talking about takeoff and his accuser that basically accused him of trying to put a little too much dip in a chip okay and her refusing it now this lawsuit was filed before he passed away and then the prosecutors basically threw the case out because there was not enough evidence. Now, the accuser is trying to refile the lawsuit and go forward with the lawsuit because she says, since takeoff is no longer here, the show must go on because his mother is the owner of his estate and she wants the mother to now sit in as the defendant. So according to allhiphop.com, it is reported that the woman who filed a lawsuit alleging that the late rapper Takeoff Julie assaulted her in 2020, two years before his death, is seeking to substitute the rapper's mother, Tatiana Davenport, as the defendant in the suit. The original complaint was filed August 2020 in Los Angeles Superior Court. The woman accused Takeoff of sexual assault during a party in an Encino home on June 23rd, 2020. The plaintiff lawsuits detail how Takeoff allegedly made several advances on the night of the incident, which she rejected. Despite making it clear that she was not interested, okay, the lawsuit alleges that the rapper followed her into the bedroom and forced himself on her. He, however, at the time that this lawsuit was filed when he still was alive, it says that he vehemently denied the allegations and the L.A. County District Attorney's Office declined to press charges due to insufficient evidence. Now, this was back then, but last week she decided to file in court. So it says last week, the attorneys that are representing her filed court papers demanding that takeoff's mom who is acting as his um, administrator of his estate, replace her late son in the lawsuit. Now, I posted this on my Instagram. As you see, this is one of my Instagram posts. And there was a lot of interesting comments that people made under the post. Majority of the comments, people felt like she needs to kick rocks. He's dead. Um, she needs to get over it. Uh, one comment came from my cousin. He basically said that if he did do it, he paid for it in his karma because he's no longer here and that she needs to get over it. Okay. Then there was other people who felt like too bad, so sad that, you know, he reached his untimely demise, but they felt like if he did do it, then the mother who is acting as his administrator on his estate should sit in place to carry on the goings-ons and the proceedings and pay up like that. But then you have the people who feel like a dead man can't defend himself, so how can such a lawsuit go on, period? So I'm going to show you guys um, a little bit more of the comments that people left under this post, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that you've seen the comments and you've seen a little bit more of what people had to say, I want to know what you think about it. As I said before, this lawsuit originally was filed and she originally tried to press charges criminally when he was alive, but the district attorney did not go forward with it. Now she's trying to take matters civilly, okay, and she's trying to take it to the next step. So... 
How do you feel about it? And what do you think should happen in the event that somebody passed and they have a legal battle beforehand? What do you do in that situation? And what do you think? A lot of people also felt like this is just a money grab. All these women are just trying to get money. Y'all let me know what y'all think and we'll talk about it down below.